Hey guys, this is Mary Lou from Mark Kills, and today I wanted to expand on my original analysis of Melanie Martinez's post I had of the release of her third album, Portals, at the end of this month. I believe it's coming out on March 31st, so today I wanted to um, talk about the uh, what else she, um, the other post that she put out. I think Melanie Martinez's journey is taking like a, like a different route from her first album uh, Cry Baby and her second album K through 12. I loved both albums. However, they do they have a lot in, in common, namely like the aesthetic, the aesthetic is almost the same. Uh, K through 12 is a bit more mature. Then there was the, the uh, after school EP which was also really good like I don't think that Melanie Martinez has released anything that I didn't like. Just like, uh, I think I'll say that of Lana Del Rey because like her career is like long. Like, she's been in, in, in business for like over 10 years now. So at this point I have not listened to all of her songs. But Melanie Martinez is young enough for me to um, say that she has not released any anything that I don't like. So I have real expectations for this album and I am really surprised that she's going for a completely different aesthetic and more spooky, dare I say scary, dare I say demonic aesthetic and it's fascinating because usually artists like usually they're like tri trilogies you know so like this trilogy has this sort of um it's coherent and it's this the aesthetic this the sound and then there is um and then maybe the artist will change everything and you know the aesthetic will change so i don't know if um i think that um the trilogy might have been you know cry baby uh, k through 12 and the after school ep so that could that makes sense but I don't know, I was not ready for this. I was not ready for the death of Crybaby. I was not, um, yeah, Melanie kind of took me off guard for sure. So let's see. So since the last time that I've um, kind of um, talked about portals, so she's introduced this character who's a, um, yeah, maybe a demon, maybe, um, it, I can tell you though, it definitely reminds me of um, one of Björk's uh, eras. I think it was the uh, Utopia era. I don't know, I, f I forgot how to, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it was an era when like Björk would, um, like she had like a similar aesthetic and she kind of embodied like demons and, mos and monsters that that really resemble like Melanie's um, demon. Talking about this little guy right here. Oh, wait, I'm gonna turn on the yes. yes, here. So, since the last time that I uh, talked about this, she's announced the um, the cover of the album Portals, and this is the cover. Very different from. Cry Baby K through 12. I will not keep repeating this, but everything from this new era is super different and it couldn't be more different. And it's it's exciting to, to be honest. Like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if she's actually like she's actually behind the costumes. If she was, more power to her. I mean, it's cool. One thing, another thing that um, she could do is this. Um, so there are two symbols like like the symbols of the album are two it's the butterfly which we also saw in recent years um with Lil Nas X uh, Ro Rosalia now Shy Girls I've, I've talked about this in my previous video and now uh, Melanie and also the butterfly is uh, the her new profile picture on Instagram as well. But the second symbol is the egg. 
and the egg reminds me of when Lady Gaga showed up at the Grammys. I think it was 20, 2011, like over 10 years ago, like 12 years ago, oh my god. Um, and she showed up inside of an egg that was carried by maybe her dancers. And then during her performance, she popped out literally and she started like dancing um, to and singing to um, Born This Way. That would be so. I wouldn't be like it would be great if Melody did something like that, like that she came out of actually this monster came out of the egg, but maybe the, this is not the the monster's final transformation. Maybe there's more, you know. So yeah, she released on her video. She released this video right here, which is the spookiest. Like this is in this how this doesn't even have colors. Like it's just. It's extremely, yeah, it might be like triggering to some people. This is not something that she would have released, I mean, even like two years ago, which is inside. I don't know what she, what kind of like creative process like she went through to like create all of this, but it's pretty cool. Then she kept releasing these videos with. Um, yeah, the monster like doing things around in more like colorful places Which is Again, it's like it's strange. It might be upsetting to some it's It's weird but like a good weird, you know And um, then this is the last video that she released. I love how she's she's basically doing what she did with um K through 12 like she literally um, she teased every song and every song was accompanied by a, a little video a little teaser video with an animation I love that kind of stuff I love how I love when every song is given like relevance and every song has its own um, animation its own cover I absolutely love that it means that every song has like a, a role uh, plays an important role in the album and she's doing the same here with um, she's every post is like teasing a song I believe even though now I don't uh, we don't know the title of the songs and this is much less cohesive because we don't have an animation for example we just have like a, a little video and the song playing playing in the background one last thing that I noticed that I'm really excited about is her sound hasn't changed much. Like her beats. First of all, I, I, I love those. I love like I love the teasers. I love the songs so far. I think they have like killer beats. Just like Melanie, kind of like it was. Yeah, that's what she. That's what I got used to when I think of, of Melanie Martinez. I don't know how, but somehow that girl can create catchy beats and like a great vibe in her like catchy beats and thoughtful lyrics and amazing melodies like out of thin air i don't know how she does that like there are very few artists that are so coherent yet like every song is is different and but every song is catchy there are no like boring songs and especially the melodies like her voice is awesome her voice is sweet yet yeah, like strong when it needs to be and her melodies the layering of the melodies and uh, the sounds the the instrumentals like everything comes together to create this world and so for now I um, I love the songs and I'm, I think there's really good material there. I'm really, I, I, I cannot wait for the end of the, the end of the month. To be honest, I think that she's going to, um, I believe she's going to release at least one single before. But there's definitely more to come, and there's definitely more to analyze. But for now, the thing that I'm really focused on is the, in the symbol of the egg and the butterfly these are going to be central and i'm sure that and they're interconnected because the butterfly she, the butterfly doesn't come out of an egg but it might but they're both going um they're both symbolize rebirth and birth 
and they symbolize a metamorphosis so they're interconnected but i want to see them more connected because obviously a butterfly does not come out of an egg so this was all for today let me know your thoughts below let me let me know if you also stand melanie just as much as i do and i will see you guys at the next video